Okay. Um, go ahead and fire up the sketch. So the other day in class, uh, several students asked about drawing a triangle and how to figure out the coordinates. In fact, while we're doing this, let's go right over to the reference and uh, shapes, right? And there we are. So we've been doing uh, an ellipse, right, or a circle, and it receives uh, four arguments, okay? So for the ellipse, we would see the x and the y and the width and the height. And the, the height is optional, so if we only put three arguments in, uh, in essence, we make a perfect circle. And if we go back here, we can see that there is such a, a command as circle. So uh, ellipse allows us to, just as the word says, we can, in essence, draw an oval, right? Something that's not a perfect circle. Uh, and here, the parameters are the x, uh, the y, the basically the coordinates, and then uh, the diameter itself. So let's go back to the sketch here <coughs> and just talk about that for a second. So remember that the canvas, the coordinates here, I'm just going to draw out my, my uh, canvas as if it was like a piece of paper. So just remember at the upper left-hand corner, this is zero and zero. And I'm writing with my little drag pads. <laughs> Hopefully you read my little writing. So the height here, maybe we'll say this is, I'm just guessing, right? I'm making up a number. But based on its size and this proportion, maybe if this was 600, since this is the width is a little bit less, I'll say this is 400, right? So this coordinate right here, um, if there were a point right there at that very uh, corner, um, since this is the x coordinate, right? So it would be 400, <coughs> uh, 600. Boy, I got to get myself a little uh, Wacom tablet. That would help. Um, so when we would say a circle, right, maybe if we almost came in a diagonal here, um, as we're working our way down, let's just say, uh, maybe right here, if there were a little point, right, and we were going to do, let's say we did say circle, so the, this coordinate here, and we'll just guess, maybe it's 100 by 100 over, right? It's 100 by 100. And we would pull a circle. And of course, the last argument would be maybe it's only 25 pixels wide. Okay. So the, uh, let me go back to the reference here. Um, and let's go back shapes. So a triangle, a triangle uh, needs one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, arguments um, and so if we look at the uh, the syntax here we need an x1 and a y1 and an x2 and a y2 and an x3 and a y3 right so this is the x coordinate of the first point and it's y and the second point x and y and the third point x and y okay so how to figure out where we would want this you know you know how do we want to draw the triangle, right? And there's several ways, and we're going to look at a couple of these. Um, I'm going to take a uh, um, uh, basic assumption that what I want to do is draw a triangle that's kind of close, uh, um, that the center of the triangle is close to my mouse. It's not going to be perfect. I guess I'll try to guess and make it somewhat perfect. In a later tutorial, we'll cover a, a way to make that happen in such a way. Um, so that would be equal distances from the center as this one is, is drawn out. Um, but how to know that from the very point. So here, we're just saying a 30 blah, blah, blah. So if I, um, if I open up a new sketch, in fact, maybe I'll do that here in a second, but I'm gonna go back to this one here. So if I, if I wanted to draw a triangle, um, I could just say, well, this point and this point and this point, right? Whatever. And then we'll draw a line from here to there and here to there and here to there, right? So this would have the X1 and the Y1, right? That's a, <laughs> that's a comma, by the way. Um, so anyways, this is the structure of this. So I want to just uh, show, and I could do this multiple ways, right? I could... Um, 
define what this is with the different input and then figure out these two other points. I could try to say, well, here's at the center and how do I get this point, this point, this point. Um, in fact, maybe I should draw that, right? So what if I wanted it to be centered around my mouse, right? And then come up with the offset. And these are like little dotted lines I'm drawing here, right? How do I figure out the offset of each one of these points? which I think is a great thing to try to figure out as you get used to coordinates, right? So um, if I hit my D key here, uh, so what I've done is I've created a triangle and I've actually coded it so that um, it's drawing some text on the screen and it's actually, uh, it's telling me the coordinates. Um, so as I work over to the upper left-hand corner, you can see that my mouse, well, let's get right there. So it's ah, right there on the X. So you can see it's the very far left-hand side zero as the x coordinate and as I go up you're not going to be able to see it because that um, once I get in there you can't see that text but just so happens you can see now it's uh, 100 by 100 so the this point uh, that I can't show you as my cursor runs around um, so the the one here is the top is measured from that center point my mouse right and the same thing for the second point and the third point let's look at the code here um, and just forget some of this other stuff. I put these conditionals in here just so I could, uh, um, in my sketch, I could do this. I should just show you so you get an understanding what the, so I could draw on the thing. And if I hit my D key, it goes back to showing me this. And if I hit the D again, I can draw, right? <clears throat> so just forget all that other stuff. Really what we care about is, so if I wanted to show you my little diagram, um, I've created these variables and we haven't done this before, but, uh, the uh, um, JavaScript uh, doesn't really care if you put this long sequence together. So I can say let, or let's have a variable, right? So let's have a variable called x1, y1, x2, y2, blah, blah, blah. Right, and here's, so um, uh, I've declared them, but I haven't um, assigned them uh, anything. And so now I can say, you know, here's the, um, x1 is gonna be, uh, zero on the X and it's going to be plus um, uh, so it's not going to go any on the X direction it will be whatever the mouse X is but it's going to go negative 100 so let's just press that again and let's hit D so you can see where my cursor is that's the mouse X and Y and then I've moved it so you can see for the let's get to a round number maybe so we can see this pretty easy so you can see that the top point of the pyramid is 871 pixels, which is exact same thing as the mouse X directly uh, below it. Um, but the Y is different. You can see at the top it's 300, and the one at the center of the triangle or relative center is 400 on the Y, right? So that's 400 in the canvas space and 300, so we've subtracted 100 from it. You can see I've used nice round numbers. Um, so 871 is now 971, so I went over 100 in the X and down or added to the, to the Y in that direction. <clears throat> so you can see each one of these are declared, and then I have my triangle, which is just, uh, oops, let's draw that there. Sorry, I'm making a mess of this. So just as the syntax said in the reference for the triangle, X1, Y1, I just used the same uh, variable numbers to help me draw the, the triangle. Right? So as you will find out later on, there are multiple ways to draw triangles. Um, and uh, uh, we're gonna use some trigonometry actually to make one later on as we learn how that works. So um, I just wanted to send this just as a way to, again, wrap your brain around the coordinate system and how that works with some of the uh, uh, the shapes, so let's go back again. So each one of these, uh, so the point itself is the simplest one, right? It just has uh, two coordinates, an X and a Y right, for this, or if we're using 3D space, we can use a, um, a third uh, variable, right? For, so it's, it's depth of space um, and line. So just keep experimenting with these, but when you come to something like a triangle, um, as you look at that, you can create an arbitrary point in space and then add 
to that, depending on what we want to do with the triangle. I could ask, uh, also make the mouse X the tip of the triangle. Uh, so this would be my, where my mouse is. And uh, then I would make the, uh, the second and the third coordinates offset from that point. Right, so we just we just says mouse, say mouse x plus whatever we want for the second point, and mouse x and y plus as we do that. Okay, I think I've bored you enough. Hopefully that helps. Um, I'll see you in a later tutorial.